That's the opening to My God. I've got a lot of requests in the comments section to do this, a tutorial on it, so here we are. From the Aqualung album in 1970, um, that was the acoustic intro, and I'm going to be going over the acoustic portion today. I'm not going to do the electric, but if somebody would like me to do that in the future, I could, I could work that out, I think. Some cool parts in that. The, uh, this is, of course, in standard tuning without a capo. And uh, what I love about Ian's writing, of course, is those really strange harmonic ideas. I'm pretty sure that this was probably the only song released in 1970 that had an A minor, followed by a B7 chord over an A note. So cool. All right, let's just jump right into the uh, opening section. We're just going to be going back and forth between the A string and the D string in this. We're, we fret the octave. So we're just playing those two strings, open A, D string on 7th fret. And then we start this alternating pattern on the two strings, and we start it with an upstroke on the D string. So that gets us into that. We start off soft and slow and build up faster and louder as we go. And just, uh, I'm not going to go into how many strokes actually go between each one. Just uh, feel it, listen to the record, feel it. Also play it at the tempo that you feel. You don't have to play it that fast because this is, this is a section, it's an intro, it doesn't have a tempo. So the tempo is not set until you start the verses. So you can, you know, you don't have to do it as fast as it is on the record. It's incredibly fast on the record, but you don't have to do that, you know. Play it at your tempo. All right, so we... We're hammering on, once again, the D string from the 5th fret to the 7th fret with a downstroke. So just get that pattern going, because that's all you're going to be doing in this part. So see how I'm hitting that downstroke on the D string? So yeah, so you just build up the speed on that. You know, on the record, it's going incredibly fast, you know. About that fast. But you don't have to do it that fast, once again. Now, I'm going to show you this next part, but it's in two ways. I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. Uh, the way that he did it on the original recording, and I've seen him that live recording at the Isle of Wight from 1970, and he's playing it down, this next part, in this position. But when I saw him playing it recently, he was playing it differently on two strings. I'm going to show you both ways, and I think I just played it the way he does it now, which I think is easier. I think that's why he does it the way he does it now. He's like, man, that old way is too hard. <laughs> but um, here's the lick, and here's the melody you need to get in your mind for this next part. That's the melody that needs to get stuck in your head, although, albeit fast, you know. Um, faster tempo, but that's the melody you want to concentrate. So what we're doing there is we're playing the G string on the 5th fret, open, D string, 7th fret. That's the first part. Now we come up to the G string on the 9th fret, open, back to the D string. So that's the pattern. <clears throat> that's the pattern. And the first time we're just going to do it once. We're going to come out of...
Then we end it like this. play this chord. We've got our uh, D string on the 5th fret, we've got our G string on the 4th fret, we're playing the open uh, B string open. Alright, and then we just do a chromatic run up here. And then we just repeat that. And build up the speed and volume. And then when we get to this lick the second time, we're going to do it twice. End it the same way. Going to this chord now. So this is just, you know, this chord with your finger index moved over to the B string. So we get that nice dissonance established for the verses. So once again that So the whole thing about that uh, lick is just the tempo, once again, is tricky. I'm going to play it a little bit slower so you can hear it in context. It's just hard. That's a hard lick. Um, all right, so that's how you play it in that position, like he does now. Now I'm going to show you how he did it on the record and how he played it in 1970. He plays the exact same melody except it's in this position here. He never leaves this position. And the way he does this is by going... So we're starting on the G string here, then playing it open, playing the D string, 7th fret, And then coming up to the B string on the 5th fret. And then coming back down. Open and then fret it on the uh, D string on the 7th fret. And just repeating that. So when you do it here, the first time it's you just do it one time. And then the second time it would be. So at first glance, you know, this is, it seems like it'd be more economic here, right? To, to do it in this position, because you're just staying, you're not reaching up here. The problem is with this lick, you're moving across three strings. And with this lick, you're just moving across two strings. It's much easier to move across two strings at speed than it is three strings. So you can hear, once again, same notes. So it just depends on how you want to do it. So once we've got that uh, done, then we come down, we hit the A string open twice. Oops. And then we come up this run. A string. D string. G string. Except we're kind of playing it together. And then we 
just sliding that figure up two frets. And then we hit the D string. And then we're into the verse. All right, so in the verses, we strike the octave again. Except we, this time we hit the D, D string and come back to the A string. And then we strum, kind of slowly, we strum the A minor. And then we come down to this B7 over the A, which is your pinky here on the seventh fret on the D string. And then you've got the uh, G string and B string fretted here. second part of that phrase, it hits the A string open, D string, 7th fret, slides it down to the 3rd fret, plays the A string open, and then finishes on the D string on the 2nd fret, before starting the phrase over again. So that, um, I wish I could help you with the vocal in this. Uh, I can't play this and sing it at the same time currently. Maybe if I practiced it for a month or two, I'd be able to do that. So um, I'm sorry I can't help you there. People, I know he starts, you know, on the people, what have you done? Probably harmony on those notes. Done. Yeah, so I wish I, once again, I wish I could help you with a vocal. All right, so when it comes to the He is the God of nothing. So we, we're going to be going to a D chord, a G chord, and then a C, back to G, and then back to the verse. Right now, to get to the D chord, he does something a little bit different. He goes... So this time he's playing... He's coming down to the same note here. Coming down the same note here. He's coming down to the same note here. But he just comes on down and then plays the A string open and then strums the D. Alright, so now this part, once again, these are odd measures and that's what gives me a little bit of difficulty because the, the D chord goes for five. It goes one, two, three, one, two, and then to the G. One, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and then we're on the G for seven beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then C chord for three. One, two, three, one, two, three and then straight back into the verse. This time we're going back to the D, three beats, and then open, and then closing it again on the D and straight back into the verse. So that makes that those odd measures make it once again difficult for me to even sing it. Gently, gently, gently. Here, I'll 
how the clever that harmony is. And me. And once again, I wish I could sing it and play it at the same time, but I can't. And don't call on him to. And then that's where the electric riff starts. Um, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stop. And like I said, if there's a lot of interest in doing the electric part, I'll do that. Um, yeah, have fun with that. Once again, just play it at your tempo, how you feel it. You don't have to play it as fast as the record as if, if you don't want to. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.